Hello everyone and welcome back to Fort Games. This week it's Transport Fever Part 1. So we're going to have a play of Transport Fever in as many different uh, episodes as we can and try and not go bankrupt. For all of you that have not heard of Transport Fever, it's your standard sort of tycoon simulator transport game. So we manage bus, trams, trains, ferries, planes to ship passengers and cargoes to help grow cities, in, well, towns into cities and uh, make a lot of money along the way. So, we're at the beginning of the game. This is uh, April the 1st. Oh, joke. Uh, nine, no, 1850. Yes. Uh, we're on a, what, a two by one scale large map. Flat, easy. Um, in Europe. Right. So, the game is currently paused. So, this is just straight in. So, uh, we have two million in the bank, and that is a two million loan as well. We can take up to ten million, so we can take another eight million out if we need it. So what I like to do first is plan. Lots of lots of planning, because if we don't plan, everything goes to fuck. Uh, so let's start picking stuff. As you can see, so there's fields there, so that does the livestock and the grain, and then you can take that to somewhere to do there. So you can do, so there's livestock and grain, and if you transport that to the livestock and grain factory, that they produce bread, and then you take the bread to Rudruth. Um, which want bread. Uh, so you sort of have to do a lot of management as well. So, for example, there's no point taking the grain from here all the way over to there. If it is that one to that one, it's quicker. But it's a lot of money to build things. So you got to do things logistical, and it's a lot of thinking, which is why the game is paused. I don't know why it's paused, because we're starting with horse and carriages and take about a year to get anywhere. Uh, hmm, let's pick a starting point. Ba, 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 ba. Summerton. Well, what, what, what we need to do is to grow a city, you need to... Eat. So, for each city, obviously, you've got the population. So, the population of uh, Stretford is 190, the population of Maryport is 156. Um, because there's different uh, amounts of populations, obviously they have a different amount of the shopping facilities required and the jobs required. Um, but the only way you're going to get people to go to a city is if they have a reason to go to a city. So uh, if we fulfil jobs, obviously a lot of people will live there. And if we have a lot of shopping facilities, a lot of people will come here. Um, and then if we do a lot of lines, people will use the lines to come here for shopping to go home again. So, hmm lot of thinking. So I'm thinking jobs. Let's get some jobs going. Uh, so... So we have bricks. Uh, so it's construction materials. Think, yeah, machines and then fuel. So, uh, fuel, you get uh, unrefined oil. And then you have to refine that into gas and oil. But I can't see any of them around here. God's truth. Uh, God. This is a tricky one. Oh, there's two of them there. Look, oil to... Yeah, crude oil to, obviously, oil. And then fuel. But there's no actual oils around here. What's it, begu? Uh, hmm. See, if you plan it out right first, you don't get fucked in the ass. Uh, planks, what do you need? Planks, planks, planks and plastic, or planks and steel to goods. As for the shopping facilities. Uh, Todmorden, oh, Todmorden. A bake up. Leak. Oh, I've actually got some good. Good names in this one. Well, we can rename them as well, of course. Uh, come on, brain. Spot something. Oh, it does often take me this long just to get comfortable. <laughs> Potten. I like potten. There's a lot of oil around there, but there's a lot of... Sorry, crude oil, but there's not a lot of refineries. Oh, difficult map. 
Hmm. Well, if we get stone, stone goes. It's stone and slug. Sludge, slug. Uh, <laughs> slag. That's the word. So we get if we get stone to here. That'll make construction materials that we can send straight to swap them. There's stone there. Um, is there another one around here? Hmm. There's another stone there, a stone there, and a stone there. But there's no... Hmm, I'm possibly overthinking this, but it doesn't seem like there's any immediate supply routes coming to uh, mind. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried because uh, 1850, we've literally got a passenger horse and carriage, and then there's obviously a freight horse and carriage, but they take an absolute age to get anywhere. So if, if the routes are too long, then we'll just lose a lot of money before they even make a profit. Mm. Uh, I have literally no idea. Um, come on, Bray. Come on, Bray. Come on, Bray. Oh, there is another one there, actually. So that's, that's probably just as far. The difficulty is it, it, it's getting close at the beginning and then obviously once you've got the transport, which is the speed and the power, you can do more longer distance because it's based on time. So if you if you if your route takes like more than 12 minutes game time, um, the goods don't like to go between places because it's obviously the long way around and it can lose money. Well, as it was in train fever anyway. Uh, okay. Hmm. Aha, there is there. Look, look, stone, and then there's a brickwork there, and then we can drop that. Yes, right. Let's do that. Uh, let's get the contour lines up. So there is a big, big ass hill. Oh, I could go round the hill. Though. Let's do that. Let's go round the hill and cut the journey time in half. So did it, did it. That's an annoying thing as well. So the longer I do it, they sort of stretch over things. So if I do it in small little chunks, it's cheap. But if I do like that, then there's obviously like big cutaways and stuff. So let's just do a little, a little intonations like that. Okay, a boosk. So just, just, just there, isn't it? Hmm. It's a little bit steep, but should be hunky dory. Yeah, it looks a little bit rough, so let's just let's just flatten that out a little bit. All C D and everything. Once I get there, okay, uh, so we've got uh, obviously the roads up, so if we go to a uh, good stop, then we'll go with small, we don't need a big one for now. Let's just rotate that round. That'll do. And then we can put the other one. Like... So let's create the line for that one. So if we say, let's have all, let's have the brickwork orange because it looks like a brick. So if we say, 
install to no construct yeah start to construct yeah yeah let's go with that do stone to construct materials that's fine we're gonna go from that bot to that bot right so if we look because uh, construction materials are part of the jobs they're in the industry sector of towns so we can see that these are so if we're drawing these up actually we can put it slap bang in the middle can't we so we'll just do that to the That'll do. And then obviously the, the, uh, the rates will upgrade the roads manually when the city begins to grow. But jobs. I need jobs. I immediately go with passengers, and that's the problem because towns just don't grow anywhere because passengers use it, but then they've got no reason to. So it's like, hmm. So let's just let's cut out this and put a road there. Remove the dirtiness. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so with adding that extension in there, the, the, they'd have to obviously go all the way around, but they can just go straight across. So that road disappeared then, but it was just a graphical glitch. Um, so we stay, we stay with orange because it's, it's part of the whole system of the bricks, isn't it? Um, I'm going to still call this... Actually, let's, let's, let's keep them numbered, so... So let's put L2. Let's go with L1. So, it's, so it is construct. Oh, flying fluff. <laughs> Dust, go away. Uh, <laughs> Uh, construct materials. Uh, let's go on brand two. Oh, what's the city called? What's it called? What's what? 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 What are you called? You got a right weird name. Sorry if anyone lives there. You got a right weird name. Din. Din. Dinnington? Let's just call it that. Ah, okay. So, if I go to... There's a way you do that. Uh, I tell you what, let's just get the... Um, let's get the... Uh, let's get the traffic going there. Yeah. Horse and carriages. Yeah, this is going to be uh, a rather unedited series, by the way. I'm not going to... Do a lot of editing of this, just mainly so you can follow it, and it's just nice and relaxed, and doesn't give me anything too harsh to rush into. Uh, I'm not going back to stupid editing, so I'm going to do two. Yeah, let's do two for now. So if we set them to, you didn't save line one. Ah. Line one, and then we want obviously the construct materials one, two, and then we can do that to line two. Right. No. Da, 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 da. I do want to change that. There we go. Just keeps it a little bit neater. We might as well fast forward it. There we go, GG's. Oh, let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah, there are different terminals there, so it's not too bad. So th there is a way of uh, making sure everything's fine. So if we go to... Th there's a trick. If you get the order wrong, you can actually destroy your... 
Um, you can destroy your sort of your roots in progress. Uh, I'm around the right window. I don't. I don't really. That's the window I want. That one. That can bugger off. So we have a maximum of fifty-two on our job list demand. Oh, I'm done. I've done this wrong. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, brain. I'm having a right old brain fart. So we have to list the stations. We don't want list. This is the vehicle. We don't want list. There we go. I'll get there in the end. So, uh, so Dennington requires fifty three on our construction materials, but we have two stops along the way. So obviously our stone is producing there. Look, it's going and they're picking it up quite nicely. And we are on triple speed as well. Um, so if we supply. If we supply more than 52 to the construction material um, factory, the factory will then obviously create more than 52 products. But they'll all go, most of them will go to waste because we'll be oversupplying. So then our supply route will slowly go dead. And there'll be no reason why. And it's a bit confusing because sometimes if you over overapply, then the the whole route dies, and you just keep adding trucks, thinking, "Oh, well, they're not getting there quick enough," and all the materials and industries just slow down. So the trick is to match the oh, it's gone up fifty four, and the city is beginning to upgrade. Nice, it's registered as a route there. So if we try and match. 56, 56, there's people going to the city. Uh, if we try and match that number in the um, initial um, material, then we'll be fine. There we go. But if we if we supply more stone than the than we're shipping out in construction material, then the the, the, the line will go dead. So if we match the requirements of the city with the stone, then it doesn't matter if we under or over supply with. No, it doesn't matter if we equal or over supply the construction materials, the line will still go. There we go. That wasn't confusing enough. Yes, it was. Uh, let's leave them to it. And we can look at other materials. Oh, look, there is coal right next to the factories. They're making steel. But where is the iron ore? That is the question. Oh, you may also notice that I have no music on because the music in this game is wonderfully addictive and I don't want to be singing that in my sleep again. So that's why. Deal with it. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Hmm. Oh, there's three. One, two, three. So there's coal there. Iron ore there. Hmm. What can I do with steel? You don't require steel directly, so steel must go to another plant. So is it even worth doing that if there's no steel plant? Mm, there is a steel plant there, though. Ooh. That requires plastic. Uh, plastics are a bit of a faff to make, so it means getting crude oil to refine the oil into something. But wood's a bit of an easy one to do. You just have to do logs to planks. We've got logs there, and there's planks there, but that's quite far away. There is another planks there at the bottom. Not okay, there's quite a lot of choice here. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's get that call to that factory. That, that's me. Me list. It's a relatively straight road. Let's triangulate it and just put a, a road there, I think.
takes a minute or two off, so why not? I'm actually going to put a big, big supply one here because we're going to have multiple terminals. We're going to have a terminal where the coal's coming in. We're going to have a terminal where the iron ore is coming in. But then we're going to also going to have a terminal that the steel is going out on, so we don't jam pack our vehicles. Right, new line. What colour should we go with? Black coal's black. Let's do. Black for coal. Let's do black for the whole lot, actually. So if we do three underscore coal to buy me. Oh, it would help if I create a, a uh, truck point there. Call to Dinnington. Dinnington. Bracket. Okay. Let's create another depot here. Because why not? I'm going to create a few more of these because obviously the distance is a bit longer. And they don't actually cost that much to run. So one, two, four. So we do five. Oh, these lines are running at a profit. How much are we supplying? 6%. And the jobs market is growing. Yes. That is what we want. So what's next? Oh, there they are trundling along. You can see how this starts to get confusing pretty quickly. <laughs> Right, let's get the iron ore connected. I hope that's not a big hill. Ah, oh, it's a big hill. It's a massive hill. Uh, I'm thinking up oh, around that way. But you are actually merged on it. Ah, uh, okay. No, no, that's all right. It's not too bad. Trying to stay in this contour line so there's no like massive degree where it changes. It's not too bad sloping up like that. The trick is when you get to a top of hill, do it in small sections, otherwise it does like that. Obviously you get a massive raised bit and then it's a lot more expensive. Do it in small chunks, it can actually fold up and over the hill itself. Now I think I've just realised. Uh, is there room for me to plonk in there? Yes, there is. It's what we want. Ooh, it looks pretty lined up that actually. Ah, oh, let's do that. Why not? There we go. That's quite a nice little curvy road there. So let's create a new line. I'm going to, for the whole industry, I'm just going to do black. So to even the so iron ore and that will be black. So it's just easy to identify, I think. That's not black. That's black. Four score iron ore two. Right. It takes six minutes for a full. Okay. I'd say they're about equal distance apart. So let's do let's do five five iron ore as well. Six. 
Did I click, did I click the right one there? Oh, I didn't set the stops, did I? You absolute dear brain. Boo. I'll get with it at some point, don't worry. He says, as he fucks it up again. <laughs> now they're heading towards that. It's what we want. Right, let's see the progress on these. Okay, so they've stopped making... Th well, they've stopped producing stone because we have 63 waiting at the stop there. Okay, what's the uh, production rate on that? Let's, see, let's bring up our... Information. So we're delivering 53. So we really want to increase our rate. Our, our, our stone rate is six and we're aiming for 55. Um, let's really start putting some. We can obviously plow in as much as we can now and we can, we'll obviously be removing the, 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 the numbers as the uh, technology increases. Obviously, when, when we get a, a petrol-powered um, and we get mortars and stuff like that, obviously, they can carry more. If the carriage seven, I think they can carry, like, four or something. But, yeah, they can only carry four. And you think this game is slow? This is on triple speed. Let's watch it in real time. There we go. Trust me. It takes ages. <laughs> Uh, so that like the, the stone to the construction materials is actually making money, which is good It's all good Oh, we just m dropped off some more So that is currently making none No stone at all because it's uh, Construction material rather because it, it is just there's not the supply of stone is just not strong enough to keep up So obviously when the stone arrives it makes and then it runs out and then that's shipped so this should, does this have any? It has none. They're on 18%. So that's 10 out of the 55, which is good. Which is very good. I just hope that the population starts to accumulate that. Oh look, there is, there is an actual industry building on this little road we've built across here. So it is expanding. Yeah, you can see that there's more industry arriving now. Which is what we want. It's already been four game years. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, let's have a look at our call. Call, yes, I know, yes. Have they received anything yet? They've called, just waiting on the iron ore. And then when the iron ore is the rive, we'll start producing the steel. Now, where are we going to take the steel? We can take the steel here. Uh, that means delivering some planks as well. Hmm. Where does it? Yeah, it definitely means planks. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem because I can still use the same roadways. Um, so obviously I can continue this road down here. And then when I have the money, I can expand that into a motorway. So there'll be multiple lanes and so nothing can get, like, trapped. Um, it's just planks out, which are a bit of a pickle. Well, I could do that wood there to that plank there, and they could carry on and join this road. That's a possibility, but it's quite a long distance. I hope that's not a big hill. Oh no, I could join. I could join up on the top of the hill there. Aha! That sounds very plausible. I'm not going to bother with passengers just yet because there isn't any growth and there's no need for transportation. There's no desire to transport across the, you know, the town centres. So if I run a bus service, no one will get on it for years. But if I give someone merit to uh, to, to get off their ass and get on a bus, 
then we'll be all right. I've just realised I was talking about going around the centre of the town, but the town has a road going right through it, so that was a bit silly of me. The, the, the misconception about this game is that you can just... Obviously, the transport fever is, is plugged with a lot of trains and planes and ships in the thumbnail. Uh, but trains are very expensive in this game. When you get to 1920, um, some of the trains cost about 6 million. And then when you realise we only have 839,000, you realise, yeah, it's not very good. But you can, if you do it right, you can start making money quickly. And at the moment, this this we are making twenty two point two thousand per annual. Um, is it monthly? I think it's monthly actually. Um, to which is good. That's good. It's good. 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 Oh, let's see. We're not, not, well, we're on nineteen, so we're not exceeding it just yet. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Aha, so there is actually construction materials waiting to go. Sweet. Everyone is making money. Here to here to here. Okay, so if we let's upgrade some roads. Um, don't want a tramway. I want the magic one tool. That's what we want. Just upgrade the road so there's more there's more lanes for it. So if there is a clash, when we bring these, because we're obviously going to have the iron ore trail, so we're going to have the steel trail, and then we're going to have the lug, the the planks from the logs joining in on this trail as well. So as wide as possible is what we want. Um. Let's see, where's the best bit to do? Breeze. That's pretty flat around here, isn't it? That looks like good. I don't think we're going to need any ships going around here because we're at the end of the map. That looks fine and hunky dory. So it, it does take its time uh, when you start a new save. Um, the, the issue is getting your main infrastructure on, you know, down. Once you have something, you can work with it. But if you don't have anything, it's a lot harder. So I know these roads are not perfect, but in about 50 game years, I'll have the money and the infrastructure there to change. So I know that this might not be able to caught with the capacity I'm putting through, so I might be able to upgrade it. I might even be able to do a train line instead of a rod um, because there'll be more stock. It's it's all interchangeable, which is what we want. It's just having a system that flows first. Um, what if I, why are you so expensive? Why are you so expensive? Let's put you there. So we've got that. So if we add, let's do it black again because it's still part of the same industry. Five? Is it? It's five, yeah. Line underscore five. So we're going to have uh, steel to. Boost steel. Let's go all the way down to there. Is this a factory? I think it's a factory. Is it a factory? Yeah. To. What is it? 
PR goods. some wagons for this as well so they have steel ready to ship that's what we want it's obviously free steel uh, you can for the uh, you can do automatic for the um, cargo type but sometimes when you have like multiple cargoes going to the same stop you know at the moment where we have coal and iron ore sometimes the engine gets a little bit confused and it'll start shipping coal down to the factory and it's just like why are you doing that so you can if the if in that you know in the case that that happens you can actually just pick a specific you know cargo and nothing else so it just irons out any problems really uh, like there. Yeah, let's do eight. Again, we can change the amounts when the better transport arrives. And that road is enormous. Look at these wagons come in real time. Another thing you can do is you can actually do first person. Here's the wagon picking up some. Chop, chop, come on. I'm bored of waiting. Triple speed. Here we go. 10 miles an hour. Well, oh. there we go. So it's actually been a good start, I think. We've got our infrastructure around our industry coming apparent now, where we're getting our bricks to the construction materials, we're getting the coal to the iron ore, and now we're just going to about to start shipping the steel to the factory and then we can start supplying goods as well. So I think that's a good point to cut it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this rather long and unedited-ish video. Uh, stay tuned for part two next week. Goodbye!